Welcome to my lecture online. In this example, we're supposed to find the coefficient of friction. The problem goes as follows. We have a spring, which has a spring constant of 8 pounds per foot, and we have a big block with a weight of 2 pounds pushed against it a distance of 0.5 feet away from the equilibrium point. Now we let go, and the block will slide a distance of 2 feet before it comes to stop. The question is, what is the coefficient of friction? And so the best way to approach this problem would be to use the equation for the conservation of energy or the conservation of energy equation. So we start out with the work put into the system plus the original potential energy plus the original kinetic energy is equal to the final potential energy plus the final kinetic energy plus any energy lost in the action. And here we do have friction from the point where it starts to the point where it finishes over the entire two feet, so that's where the energy will be lost. So when we plug in what these are equal to, well, there's nothing pushing the block while it's moving from one point to the other, so zero work put into the system. The original potential energy would be the energy stored in the spring, which is one half kx squared. There is no kinetic energy at the start because the block is not moving. The original velocity is zero. The final potential energy must be zero. There's no spring compressed. There's no height gained. There's no kinetic energy because the block is not moving at the end. And finally, the energy lost is lost due to, to the work done to overcome friction. So that would be the friction force multiplied times the distance. So what is the friction force? Well, when we think about it, we have the force of gravity pulling down. So that would be mg. We have the normal force pushing back. The normal force is equal to mg as well. And then the friction force, which would oppose the motion, force friction by definition is equal to the normal force times mu, which in this case is going to be the weight of the block times mu. All right. That means that this can now be written as, on the left side, 1 half kx squared is equal to the friction force, which is mg mu times d. And yes, we are looking for mu, which means that we can say that mu is equal to 1 half kx squared divided by m times g. And times d. Can't forget the d there. All right. Now we're ready to calculate what that is equal to. So going over here to complete. So let's rewrite the equation. Mu is equal to the energy stored in the spring, 1 half kx squared, divided by the weight times the distance. That would be 1 half times k, which is 8, times the distance, which is 0 0.5. We have to square that, divided by the mass times the acceleration of gravity, which is 2 pounds, times the distance, which is a total of two feet. Now we have uh, eight divided by two is four, divided by four is one, times 0.5 squared, so it's equal to 0 0.25, and that would be the coefficient of friction in this particular case. And that's how it's done.